Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to day 23 of my 31 Days of Horror. Yes, I'm doing a film from uh, 2009. This is an Irish horror film. I thought it was decent for what it was. It stars Vinnie Jones, and it's put out by Lionsgate Entertainment. And that is called Legend of the Bog. Yes. Uh, Legend of the Bog starts off with this construction company uh, digging around and trying to develop homes but they have to clean out this uh, bog area while these bog bodies are now starting to turn up. Uh, bog bodies are uh, mummified corpses that have been lost in the bog. Uh, they could be really old, they could be really new, who knows, just these bodies all of a sudden just magically appear in the ground. Sometimes they're pretty damn old. Well, a uh, archaeological group has come and they're trying to find out, okay, you gotta stop construction you gotta stop everything because now we have to identify the bog creature monster body whatever you want to call it well when the construction has deceased um someone's actually inadvertently reanimated the corpse through water for some reason and now this uh bog person has now reanimated and it's pretty much he is now he looks fully like a human but he looks like he's from the 17th century so he's going around the area killing people, <laughs> and uh, of course now he's going back to his bog. While well, a bunch of people have also been stranded in this area of the bog, uh, you have the couple of the construction people, the the lady who owns it, uh, a taxi driver with his company, two lost women, the archaeological group, and they all have actually all of them have some kind of dark secret to tie them with uh, the bog area. Uh, do through murder through other means so they actually all have a past through this bog so of course now the bog person or whoever you want to call them has gone through starts uh taking them out one at a time kind of like a slasher type movie like an irish slasher but i wish the bog guy looked more mummified or more monstrous than just a regular human being so yeah that's pretty much the synopsis of this movie Again, my thoughts. Again, I wish the bog guy looked like a bog monster or looked like some kind of, you know, mummified walking corpse versus a completely looking humanoid looking dude. That's it. I uh, got some good kills. Nothing really spectacular. Uh, the storyline was okay. The acting was pretty good. I like Vinnie Jones, so I wanted to pick this one up because he was in it. Of course, I like my Irish horror films. But other than that, this was a solid okay watch. Out of a possible 10, I'd probably give this maybe a 6.5 out of 10. Just because, A, one, it's an Irish film, and I had to collect my Irish horror films. So, it was, again, an okay watch. For features, uh, it's in widescreen. Trader Gallery, uh, original... Optional English subtitles and optional Spanish subtitles, so that's it. There are no making of or anything which they did. Kind of been cool if they did like an interview with Vinnie Jones or an interview with some of the other cast and crew members. But again, other than that, it's just a run-of-the-mill kind of bog slasher movie, I guess you want to call it. <laughs> it's like a supernatural slasher film. So other than that, if you want to pick it up and watch it, I definitely recommend giving it a watch. Um... If you want to own it, that's perfectly up to you. I'm happy owning this. But other than that, if you're like, oh my god, I always wanted to see it, wait a little time maybe. Or if you can find it dirt, dirt cheap, pick it up dirt, dirt cheap. No pun intended with the dirt. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little review for my 31 Days of Horror. Again, this was Day 23, reviewing Legend of the Bog. All right, guys, have yourself a good Monday. Peace.